I promised a person posting to Amazon reviews as Geo King Cladzi um, a video that would illustrate my use of a small piece of furry cloth to attenuate wind noise on the inbuilt camera microphone. Clearly when you are doing a piece to camera there are better ways than this to attenuate wind noise. Most principally using a remote microphone but the microphones in the high-end uh, Panasonic uh, video ca uh, camcorders are uh, really quite good quality and whilst uh, they'll only really function for a voiceover at about a range of three feet which is what this is or less um, nevertheless it's very quick um, and easy to set up now one snag that I found in trying to demonstrate wind noise is that every time I come out to record a video um, the wind drops and so I doubt very much as to whether there has been much wind noise on the microphone but just to show you that there is no dulling of the sound I'll show you the setup that I've got um, whilst just changing over to the use of my little merkin as I call it which is this little tiny piece of furry cloth now it looks most unlikely extraordinary odd idiosyncratic uh, and on the camera looks even worse but I think you'll see or be able to hear that it doesn't adversely affect the sound and hopefully if we've had any noisy wind in the microphones at all uh, you'll see that that uh, that this just eliminates it altogether so I'm going to just pause the video here and after a jump cut that I've hopefully been able to disguise with a b-roll cutaway as it's known in the trade uh, the jump is because I've stopped the camera and then resumed in a very similar um, shot setup um, but uh, I now have the Merkin in position on top of the video camera and well if you could see what I can see uh, then uh, it does make the camera look rather embarrassing but it works uh, hopefully the ambient noise is just as sharp as it was before but um, and you can certainly hear that bird I think in the background asserting its territory but um, well as I just pan round um, there is some uh, wind um, but fortunately hopefully no interference um, on the camera uh, I think I'm going to have to contrive some wind noise just to finally convince um, that was a nice breath of air but who knows I did think that before playtime was completely over that I would show you the alternative that I favour for micing up to do statements to camera um, and in fact really most 
live lip sync recording I prefer to do with a remote microphone rather than the camera's built-ins. Um, the Panasonic does have a problem in very low noise situations uh, in that it picks up the noise of its internal fan and that can be very upsetting um, and once you've heard it uh, then it becomes sort of like creating an obsession now the other thing is that with having uh, off-camera microphones um, you do get the option to choose different sorts and I say my preferred version is the newer lapel microphones linked together as a stereo pair uh, wrapped in a little homemade uh, fluffy dead cat again um, but this time just tucked out of sight under my shirt now I'm recording using that method right now and if you'll forgive all the uh, noise handling noise I'll show you um, what it looks like um, again once you've seen the concealed microphone then it becomes quite obvious but until that time um, it's just completely unobtrusive well I think so in here but there again I have got rather substantial man boobs and I've got the sort of frame where you could hide something quite substantial and still not notice it but anyhow to the microphones and uh, as I say it records in stereo it's got a very good high signal to noise I can switch the camera to manual record and use the use a little preamplifier which is built into a Zoom H1 recorder to um, do a line amp for the sound but that's just getting too technical these two newer microphones let me show you what I have here I can get in trouble but uh, there they are so stereo pair of microphones let's see you can just see them mounted on on there just inside there and uh, they're recording the sound as you can probably tell from the handling noise but the noise from the nearby main road um, you'll almost certainly be able to hear but hopefully it isn't as great as um, with the in-camera microphones uh, and as far as the uh, wind noise is concerned well I hope you can see that now I've pretty well finished recording things um, the wind seems to be picking up a bit and uh, let's see the trees over there are, are waving around a bit that's a eucalyptus that might over there and uh, so there is a, a reasonable win um, and hopefully my little beast of fuzz is cutting down on the nasty noise that blowing wind blowing on a microphone causes I promise you I'm really trying to do my best to catch up some wind noise because I too find it playing on the built-in camera microphone uh, but you can see I've got quite a windy day today even though it is nice and sunny and the camera without the wing gag wants to get these earphones sorted out and perhaps here whether it is catching wind noise or not 
Let's have a see. Should be. I'd certainly normally suffer from it. Well, there's quite a lot of uh, air noise, but ah, oh, just a little bit of uh, wind noise on the mic. But uh, the constant whooshing noise that you hear on the uh, all the statements to camera that I'm making in the garden um, that's actually the noise of a, a neighbouring motorway the M6 uh, so we get quite a lot of road noise which you know you get used to and you tend to blot out uh, with your own ears but microphones do exaggerate it I love those little birds though they sound great now that's the bit of wind noise this is the uh, what I call the murking it's I sort of like try and comb it I don't have much hair to look after myself so this is, it keeps me occupied this little wig but Wiggy goes and sits on top of the camera so you pardon the noise of my sticking it down with velcro which is what it does and that's just stroking his hair and then now well we'll just record a couple of minutes of sound and uh, I can see the fall fur blowing uh, but fortunately I don't seem to be getting much in the way of uh, wind noise interference on the microphone. But I really do think it makes a difference, although if you're in really windy conditions, a handheld microphone uh, with uh, a proper fluffy dead cat uh, makes all the difference. But you can hear uh, the noise of a wind without necessarily it being the noise that you get when you blow into a microphone it can be hugely irritating. Anyhow, that's it. That's my best shot. I'm going to briefly put this on YouTube, but only as a means of communicating it to other people. I hope nobody takes this as a, a serious contribution to um, the world video learning community. And I'm going to take it down uh, once I'm sure that the, uh, uh, the guy who asked me for hints and tips on reducing wind noise has received it what it says I'm not a very lucky person anyway who can say that in weather like this beautiful just ruffling my hair